Raymond Savage Ford will return to action up at Super Featherweight when he takes on Orlando Gonzalez at Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia on Saturday, November 9th. Live worldwide on DAZN, with Ford leading the undercard that also features light, heavyweight talent Khalil Big Steppico taking. On Manuel Gallegos and Ernesto Tito Mercado making his matchroom debut, all in support of the blockbuster World Championship double header. As hometown hero Jaron Boots Ennis headlines at Wells Fargo Center once again, defending his IBF World Welterweight title against. Karen Chikadzian and Jesse Bam Rodriguez defends his WBC and Ring Magazine World Super Flyweight titles against Pedro Guevara. Tickets Go on general sale at 12 noon Eastern Time today, Tuesday, September 24, via Ticketmaster.com Ford 15118 KOs. Makes the move to 130 pounds and does so with ambitions of becoming a two weight world ruler. The Camden Ace Landed the WBA world title at 126 pounds in March with a stunning last gasp KO win over Odebeck Kolmatov in upstate New York and was edged out in his first defense via split decision against Nick Ball in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia in June. The 25-year-old will be looking to put his new division on notice with a stand-out performance in Philadelphia where the WBA Continental North American title will be on the line over 10 rounds, but Savage faces a Puerto Rican in fine form in Gonzalez 23-2-12 KOs. Wins over the distance against Ramiro Cecina and Jose Castaneda look good on the 29-year-old CV. And he'll be looking to ruin Ford's introduction to the division. All the champs at 130 pounds better watch. Out because I'm coming for all of those straps, said Ford. I don't have to do a whole lot of talking. People know what I can do when I'm at the top of my game. Right now, I'm in. Colorado working hard and people are going to see the end result on November 9th. Two, weight world champ coming soon. No doubt. This is my first fight so close to home since I made my pro debut so it's great to be back there and I know there's a lot of people going to come out and support. I'd like to thank Probox, Gary, Chris and Daniel, and Matchroom for the opportunity, said Gonzalez. Ray Ford is a world-level fighter and I'm going to show him on his level and beyond. It's going to be a great fight. Co. 9017 KOs will be itching to get back to the city of brotherly love, where he's shown on the undercard of Boots' win over David Avenesian in July. Big step ahead. The crowd on their feet as he pummeled Kwame Ritter inside two rounds of their clash for the vacant US WBC. Light heavyweight title, a belt he puts on the line for the first time and in search of a fifth straight win inside the distance. Standing in his way is Gallegos 22-117 KOs, the Mexican that returns to action for the first time since tackling another rising star from Eddie Hearn's stateside stable, when he met Diego Pacheco in July 2023. And now moving up from 168 pounds to look to halt Coe's rise. November 9th, Philly stand up, said Co. We back. Big Steppa, coming through. Fighting in Philly is like being home for me, and having the opportunity to put on another show in front of all my family and friends is extra special and I am ready to put on another spectacular performance. I believe that there is no better prospect in boxing than me, and on November 9th, Manuel Gallegos is about to find that out the hard way. My name is Manuel Gallegos, El Mino, and I'm ready for my next fight against Khalil Co said Gallegos. I'm hugely motivated and can't wait to fight. In this weight division where I feel great. Mercado, 16 KOs, penned a deal with Matchroom after Hearn. Fought off fierce competition for his signature, and the 22-year-old will be looking to continue his brilliant 2024 with a fourth win inside the distance. Tito will be in action over 10 rounds at super lightweight, against an opponent to be named soon. Austin Williams returns to the ring over eight rounds at 160 pounds. Eager to get back to winning ways. Williams, 16, 111 KOs, gamely battled Hamza Shiraz for the WBC silver title in the matchroom vs. Queensbury 5 vs. 5 in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia in June, 
taking plenty from his brave performance against the powerful Brit. Dennis Thompson, 2-0-1 KO, and Ismail Mohamed, 5-0-3 KOs, both recorded points wins on the undercard of Ennis' win over David Avenesian in July in Philadelphia. And the Boots Promotions duo are back again under their mentor over four rounds at Super, Flyweight and six rounds at Welterweight respectively. And there's a debut on the card for the hotly touted Zaquin Moses, the cousin of Pound for Pound superstar Shakur Stevenson. Stepping through the ropes for the first time over four rounds at Super, Featherweight. This is going to be some night in Philadelphia, said Hearn. Boots and Bam are two of the very best that there is and we have a brilliant supporting cast before those two pound, for pound stars strut their stuff. Ray is back and is ready to meet any champion at 130 pounds to become a two-weight king, while Khalil is like a runaway train right now. He's going to be knocking very loudly on the door of the contenders at light, heavyweight. Ammo showed incredible guts and heart against Hamza. And he will have learned so much from that night to go again in his career, and I cannot wait. To let Tito off the leash and showcase his immense talent on the big stage. It's another big night for Dennis and Ismail fighting for Boots promotions. And watch out for Zakwin making his pro debut, there's a massive buzz around this young man.